Yes guys, it's that time of the week again. And wow, you have tagged me in some amazing replays. Let's spend some time checking them out. Hey guys, and welcome along to another video. If this is your first time here and you're watching all sorts of GT Sport related stuff, subscribe now and click the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. In this series, every Friday I go through and pick out my favourite replays that you guys have tagged me in, and if you want to know how, check the description down below. Guy here killed two people in the first corner, make that three, and he's going to go for a fourth. Here we go then, here's number four, and wow, I thought I struggled getting out of a spin, but just watch this. And you know I had to pick a clip that included some of those ridiculous issues with the new update. Now going a bit further forward in the pack here, now of all the first corners in the game that cause absolute carnage, some say Monza, some even say the Nürburgring but for me after that I think Fuji takes the crown it's not only the first corner that can prove treacherous check out this guy in sixth who is gonna take on the pit lane entry full bore this guy almost gets taken out again as the guy in seventh there completely misses his breaking point and sadly we miss one more murder there. But don't worry, the Frenchman here in the Bugatti is going to make up for that. We're on the very first lap here. He's got no intention of doing anything other than smashing that Brit out of the way and then taking on this German. He's going for the win. By the look of those tactics though, he has got the perfect weapon for it. That Bugatti is an absolute beast. He's going to put his weapon to the test again as he punts the German out of the way and goes on to take the victory. In the very same race, this was going on. This Portuguese guy is the dirtiest guy that I have seen for a long, long time. So we're on lap three or four here and this guy is in sixth. He's got his eye on fifth though. He fancies a bit of that. So he's just going to punt the guy out of the way. But as we go to look from him looking backwards, he doesn't want to give it up. So he's going to go and block the TT here. But the TT is going to go down the outside. And then he's going to do something quite odd here and extremely, extremely petulant. Watch his brake pedal there. He's going to try and brake check the Frenchman there but with cat like reflexes he manages to avoid it. Something tells me though this final lap is going to be an interesting one so we're going to fast forward to a little bit later on. We're still with the Portuguese guy here and he's got his sights back on the Frenchman. So if he wants that fifth place he's going to have to make a move reasonably soon and of course he's just going to punt him out of the way. That's one way of getting it but again if we look behind, they're not done with him. He wants to hold onto that fifth place just like he did on the last lap. He gets a poor run out of the final corner, so he's going to cut them again off once. He's going to cut him off twice. And then <laughs> the McGann is going to try and set him up. But he's going to fly left and smash into the TT. And after all of that, he comes home in eighth place. Now I have saved you the best race at Fuji until last. These two are something else. So they're coming down to the first corner here. We're going to have a dubious move by the Spaniard in the TT there, the double move in the braking zone, but the pug manages to avoid it. We're going to go to the end of the lap now and move back to the McGann Trophy. It gets the fantastic view of this down the front straight. So the TT is going to try and block the pug. The pug is going to push against the TT all the way onto the grass on the left hand side. The TT takes exception to it, smashes into the pug and this is going to all end in tears. 
knowing exactly what he's doing here, the Spaniard's going to break a little bit later than the Brit in the pug and just lean on him through the corner. Push him right off into the AstroTurf and he's going to take the lead. But that is not the end of it. The Spaniard's had enough. He doesn't want to put up with this anymore. Check out his throttle here. He's going to wait till the Brit's alongside and he's going to ram him once, ram him twice and the Brit has gone. So the Spaniard really should have this one in the bag. But karma's a wonderful thing. So watch him as he takes the wide line that he shouldn't be taking through that corner. He actually gets reset. He then takes a swipe as the Brit comes through. Luckily he was ghosted, but he has lost it and he's gonna come across the line in second. As I said, karma is a now staying in Japan, we're going to move down to Suzuka. We're going to slow the pace down and we're going to look at some minis. But what minis lose in speed, they make up for in hilarity. I don't know why, but everything just looks so much more petulant in these things, like these two, the Frenchman and the Spaniard here. Having a bit of an argy-bargy session coming into turn number one and the Frenchman's just going to have enough. See you later, Spaniard. But he's not done there. He's going to punt the Italian off too. Some wonderful driving to take the lead. Now we're going to go slightly further down the pack and we're going to come across an opportunist. An opportunist rammer. The opportunity arises, he's just going to smash him. But the Frenchman is defiant, he keeps his foot to the floor and manages to retain the position. We're going to the last lap here and these last few videos have shown me the lengths people will go to to block people and hang on to their win. Watch this guy. Stupidly though, as he lifts, he's going to ghost, gifting his countryman the win. Now we've moved on to brands. This isn't so much dirty, rather than just catastrophic for the victim. So we're coming down Hawthorns Hill here into Hawthorns. And there should be a huge collision that is going to catapult the Brit in the Porsche into the wall and that is the end of his race. Now staying with the Italian here, he's moved up to seventh and this is a very odd thing that I haven't ever seen before. His tyres are shot, but check out the rocket coming through who's gonna punt the German into the wall. Now, this is gonna be the last race that we cover and in my mind, the dirtiest driver that I've seen from the replays that you've tagged me in this week. So we're at the Red Bull Ring in the Lancias and our subject is the Italian. So as you can see he started in third but has already made his way up to first having whacked them into turn number two. He's now going to squeeze the German right onto the grass. He's going to take a stab at him here. He's going to miss him but keep your eye on him because amazingly he's going to come back into play as he chops the nose off this Brit the German's going to come back into play and the race is well and truly on. Now in a textbook manoeuvre on lap number two here, he's going to do exactly the same thing. He knows what he's doing. Look at his throttle and brake response. He's going to punt the German out of the way and he's back up into second. Fifth lap now, it's deja vu. I don't even need to tell you what he's going to do here and he is going to go up the inside and take first. But the best is yet to come. On the penultimate lap now, just starting, we're in the view from the Brit behind here now. We've got the Italian out in front. He's going to come across him, which is fair enough at this point. No issue there, he's braking a little bit earlier than usual and there's some contact there which is going to push him wide. He's going to come across the track, but he's going to ghost. I think he's got a penalty at this point, so he's going to get rid of that because we know that his best tactic of getting past someone is from behind. So we're at the end of the lap now, and we're about to come onto the final lap. Now, at the end of this straight, I think we all already know what is going to happen. Keep your eye on the throttle bar on the right hand side of the screen there because this is 
file. Not even a lift. The Brit has gone and that is the win for him. Not only did he win the race, but he also scooped the coveted Dirtiest Driver of the Week award. Make sure guys you let me know in the comments section down below if you agree with me or you think somebody else should have got the prize. But for now, that's the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.